There are so many ways to beat the dragon now. Let's talk about it. I'm super excited about this video. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here, and we are in the Dragon Dungeon today. Uh, yesterday, we uh, competed in the Dragon portion of the Faction Games hosted by Deadwood Jedi. If you want to see that video, it is up on Deadwood's site. He's been doing an amazing job editing that footage. The video is super cool, so if you want to see what happened uh, and, and watch the runs and, and see everything about that, make sure you click over to Deadwood's uh, video. I will try to link that in the comments below uh, so that that's easy, uh, quick and easy for you to find. Um, also, I will put in there uh, the team merch that I have created. Um, I made, actually, I made logos for all three teams for uh for this competition and then um i said you know since i already made these logos i might as well slap them on some t-shirts and coffee mugs uh and throw them up uh on my website in case anybody wants to buy one um i make almost no money off of them i tried to just keep the prices super low so if you want one of those team shirts or team merch for any of the three teams i will put uh, all of those links in that pinned comment below as well. Now today we're talking about Dragon because one of the biggest, most important things I realized throughout this competition so far is that, man, there's a lot of ways to beat Dragon Stage 20 now. I, I'm just shocked at the, the times that you can get on Dragon 20 with the available champions. Um... You know, YST with Orcs had a really good time. Uh, me with just High Elves in like a, an, a definitely not ideal situation, still a pretty good time. Obviously, Dark Elves uh, is a speed running faction with Zavia and Dark Kale. Um, but like if you have those two champions, uh, definitely check out uh, Smiley's team because that's like a legit speed run for this dungeon stage 20. Um, and here's the thing, right? Like even if you don't have this end game gear like we have, um, I think their gear is quite a bit better than mine even. But even if you don't have this end game gear, now there's so many teams that are really good. I feel like the diversity in teams now is is getting really, really awesome. And that's just good for you guys because that provides way more champions, way more team possibilities to give you good times in these dungeons and even just to clear it for the first time if that's where you're at. Like if you just have these champions or uh, and not as good of gear, your, t your time will just be slower. So uh, let's go in. Look at the team that I used for my competition. I was able to actually tweak it a little bit more, unfortunately. I don't think it still would have been enough for me to change the placement that I got. Um, but, wait, actually, we need, we need the other Arbiter in here. Well, at least in this team. Uh, wait, does she have gear on? I don't think she has gear on. She needs this Arbiter. Okay. So, let's come in here. Let's take a look at this run. This was the team that I used for High Elves, okay? Now, here's the problem with this team, right? Yannicka and Royal Huntsman are both Spirit Affinity, which means we have a lot of weak hits. I could not find a, a stronger team composition than these five champions to give me a faster run. I couldn't find one, okay? Uh, and and that's like that's just like a problem with High Elves, you know? I don't have Ethos, but if I did, obviously he would be a much better damage dealer here than either one of these. He, he's a better nuker, first of all, and he's Void Affinity, most importantly. But it doesn't matter because I don't have him, and he's banned, so there's no chance that I was going to be using him. Yannicka, her, her goal is just damage. Her goal is just damage. Royal Huntsman, his goal is damage and decreased defense. Alexander, 
I've been just blown away. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some amazing stuff with him in just a second. But guys, if you have Alexander just sitting in your vault and you need help with content, he is crazy good. He is the most underrated champion I've found in this faction so far, and I'm gonna prove it to you today. We all know Arbiter, she's in here for the increased attack. Ellen Arl, super underwhelming, not good. Not good in this team at all, but she does put poisons and then explode them. It is helpful, and I have some toxic sets here too. Um, the point of this video is not necessarily the gear, but all of these champions have pretty end game gear. I'll try to show that off, but I don't want this video to be like a million, a million minutes long. So let's go and jump into the run here, and you can see what we're working with. So, um. One of the things, one of the key parts about the Dragon Tournament that you need to realize is the time constraints. We had like a day and a half to level up, test, and create these teams. And so, it provided we had more time, we, we could have optimized these teams more. And I feel like, uh, I feel like both of the other competitors, Smiley and, um, and YST, definitely had more optimized teams than I did. At the same time, there wasn't that many options for me to explore, but I would have had a little bit better of a time, and hopefully you're gonna see that in this video here. But what you can see so far is a lot of weak hits, okay? A lot of weak hits. We do not have a clean clear on any of these waves. We don't have a clean clear. There's just simply not enough damage to, to clean clear but you saw 180k there from royal huntsman um and and that's what he's capable of he can hit for 220k uh but a lot of times he just weak hits there's 220 on alexander 220k with decreased defense and weaken 100,000 damage like he's so amazing right now this is a terrible time this is a terrible run time i think so we got we must have gotten through the waves much slower here yes okay now uh the average clear time with this team was a minute 37 so we're right on average but it's definitely well we're above average now um so we'll run that back one more time um earlier i had this at a minute and 24 seconds which was my best run by a significant margin but still not enough uh, to to do uh, to win. I don't know. It was uh, Dark Elves was unbeatable for for this competition in my opinion. But that's not the only point of this video. I really wanted to talk about all the possibilities with this team. I don't know. Something is wrong here with Arbiter's AI. I think. Okay, hold on. Let's let's back out here. Let's double check the presets. Oh, what did we take off Yannicka? She's missing her boots. Ah, I know, I know, I know. Okay. She needs perception boots. I have moved so much gear around on my account. It is crazy. Uh, this is the test server, by the way, so it does not matter that we're moving gear around. Um... But, you know, we are not in an ideal spot. So, turn this off. Turn this off. Opener, don't use. Opener, don't use. Um, don't use. I think we can leave this on. And then round three, we want you to open there. Don't use. Okay, let's let's try that. One of the most important things that I think I, I also gained from this is the turn. Like, okay, this is obvious. Okay, let me just say this is obvious. The turn order for your champions matters a lot. But it can drastically also change the time. And yes, I know that to be true, but 
you know, it's one thing to know something and it's another to see it in action. I don't know why that first wave is so slow. We should be through that first wave in 11 seconds. So in between moving gear and testing for arena, I must have changed something. Um, so I don't know what that is, but wave two was better there. So maybe our overall time will be better. I'm not sure, but either way, I wanted to show off the team that I used. This was the team that I used. Um, the fastest time that I got was a minute 34. Uh, the other two times were very RNG. I should not have changed anything. I should have just ran it back, but, you know, hindsight, blah, 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 blah. Ooh, no weak hit. Can we get the best time? Can we get the best time in the video here? We're at a minute 11. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to meet a minute 24. But a minute 24 is the best uh, best time that I've gotten so far. This is going to be pretty close to that. Not quite. And there, 128. Still actually better by six seconds than what we had um, yesterday. So anyway, I want to point out... Look at this ridiculous damage from Alexander. He out damaged Royal Huntsman and Yannicka. Part of that is due to weak hits, but part of it is not. Part of it is just he's been doing some crazy damage. All right, so let's take a look at those other teams, and let me talk to you about my thought process there. Um, I tested Curia. No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in here. I tested Hiria because um, she has an A2 that has a chance to place poisons, triple hitter, and she has an A3 little ally attack. Okay. Again, she's spirit affinity, so it didn't end up working out. Okay. But that was one of the ideas that I had in testing. Okay. During the video, Smiley suggested. Um, Smiley suggested Basilius Ronus. I had no thoughts of using him. He was just like literally hiding in my inventory, but I did throw him in some teams and test him after the fact. I don't think he would have helped my time. He does not do enough damage, um, to, of note, at least from my testing with him. Maybe I just don't have him geared for enough damage, but I, I didn't find him as good of a damage dealer. He would be way more consistent than the Spirit Affinity, but I don't think it would have helped me change my time at all. I did not test Deliana or Bellinor. Um, I don't think either of them would have helped me. If you think otherwise, let me know. Is this the team that you would have gone with with High Elves or not? Uh, one of the teams that I thought had the most promise was this one. So I want to do a run with it. My thought process here was that Tyrell could go first and put up decreased defense so that Alexander could clear the waves better. Um, and I don't know. That might have been a better option. Oh, but why did Tyrell's missing gear? <laughs> guys man the test server is amazing but you the uh wait what what hold on is it the wrong arbiter again okay we'll, we'll we'll switch arbiters as well um recently used uh yep <laughs> So you can, you're going to get to see here what it's like being on the test server because this is how it is. This is definitely how it is. You just, you do not care about wrecking your teams, about moving people around. None of that. It does not matter. So it's, uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, I think this is what we want. Yeah, I'll just throw this on here. Um, on the test server, it doesn't matter if you break teams. It doesn't matter if you steal gear from your best champions. None of that matters. It's a very interesting and unique experience. Um, so, uh, you're getting to see a little bit of this in action here. Um, is that enough? It is. Put those on there. And that still keeps him in toxic. Uh, I don't actually, hmm. I don't actually know if that is, it makes him fast enough. 
Here's Alexander's stats while we're at it. I put some crazy endgame gear on. I was able to increase his attack after the fact. So I, I, these are a little bit better stats than what I had before. 262 crit damage is pretty nutty. Um, what was his speed there? 202. And then Tyrell is 204. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Now, one of the advantages Smiley had was he could run his champions really, really slow. And so that allowed him to put way more damage on them than what, you know, what I could do. Um, that was a nice clear there, 11 seconds. But then on wave two here, this is going to be much slower because we have to cycle back through our abilities. Um, they're going to probably, yeah, see weak hits there from Royal Huntsman. Um... And then they're going to get turns here. Man, one-shotting people, that Royal Huntsman. You know, I, that's that's my favorite part about this uh, event, is that you guys are getting to see all kinds of amazing champions that you wouldn't normally see. And and that's so amazing. I, I'm so, That's been the, the most fun part for me as well. Um, and then eventually here, Arbiter will revive. Yep. There we go. We're at 102 right now. Oh, that was the biggest poison explosion hit I've seen so far. We got a bunch of poison explosion procs there. But again, I don't feel like I'm, I don't even think this is going to beat my best time of 124. So I, I don't think there was a way that I was winning this. I don't think there was a way I was winning this or even getting second place with high elves. I don't think so. You know, uh, orcs ended up having a lot better nukers than high elves. And they uh, he had Krela for the ally attack. So 138, still not a bad time here. But I felt like there was definitely a barrier that I could not pass pass through. Uh, there was a barrier I couldn't pass through, and that was a minute and 20 seconds, a minute and 25, uh, right around there. The next team I want to show you is what would have happened if we put Royal Guard in here. Um, this was the team that I came up with, so we'll we'll just use this. That's fine. Uh, this Arbiter doesn't is does not have full gear on, but that shouldn't matter. I found that I had to put Arbiter in because I couldn't get the team to fully survive 100% uh, of the time without her. So one of the interesting things you're going to note about this team is that it's not actually that much faster with Royal Guard. And uh, a lot of that still has to do with Yannicka weak hitting. Uh, I think the AI priorities are wrong here on Arbiter because she did decrease attack there. She's only, I mean, she did the uh, increase attack. She's only supposed to do that one time. Um, she's, and then she's supposed to put that increase attack up again on wave two. So the, the turn order is slightly off here. Um, but like I said, you know, on the test server, man, it's just moving stuff around, changing the teams. I'll tell you, I tried so many different combinations to break that minute 30 barrier. So many. Uh, and this is a much, much slower. Oh, yuck. Royal Guard used his uh, his ability there. He's not supposed to do that either. But um, I got right down um, a little bit. What was my fastest time with this team? Minute 10 or a minute? I think uh, somewhere between a minute and a minute and 10 was my fastest clear time with this team. Um, but like, I mean, you see where we're at here. We have Royal Guard in the team and we still don't have a faster clear time. Okay, we still don't. So I, I think that High Elves was just a real challenge. I think High Elves was a real challenge. And ended up being not... I, I wanted High Elves for Dragon. I wanted them. But I think that in the end, it wasn't as good as what I expected it to be. It was not nearly as good. Ah, dang it. So, the last team I want to show you is a new team that I developed this morning just for this video. 
Um, here was the testing of Basilius. It ended up not being worth worth note, but I did test it. Uh, here is the team that I was really excited to share with you. This is more of um, like if you are still farming stage 20, but you have some endgame gear, and you're missing champions like Zavia, Elinaral, or Seer, this could be a really great team for you um, if you can't farm stage 25 or 24 or 25 with uh, with consistently good times. This is, this is a possible team for you. Now, what you're going to see here in this last run as we wrap up the video is ridiculous damage from Alexander even more than he did before so uh i'm really really pleased with this team it is super fun but you're gonna see that even with this setup it cannot compete with zavia and elinaro and seer okay zavia elinaro and seer are the best wave clearers in the game I would love to see some more, but can you see Alexander almost basically clearing the waves by himself with the setup? That's crazy to me. And so um, he's not even the best damage dealer. Like if you put a Trunda in there, if you put the new Hefrak in there, they're going to clear this even faster than Alexander, which is crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. But you can see the damage potential for Alexander. Uh, Royal Guard in this team really shines with the decreased defense, weaken, and hex. The new hex buff showing that off here. 700k there and 53 seconds. Okay. So this is, uh, you know, a speed clear team that has no Zavia, Elinaro, or Seer. None. Okay. The majority of these champions are, well, no, I wouldn't say the majority. Alexander was free. Royal Guard's an epic. We had the recent... Is it guaranteed Venus or just like a 10x, 2x thing? We had a boosted chance to get Venus. Mithrala is free to play once you hit mid to late game. You can get her by farming the normal Hydra boss. And then if you don't have Kaimar, you can use Renegade. So... I think this is a really amazing team. I was super happy to find this team. Um, I really loved working on this, and I'm excited for Arena. That's the next competition that I will be participating in. That will happen on this Friday on Deadwood Stream. So let me know what you think about all this, and I will see you guys in the next video.